Hey, you down here? Okay. I uh, don't have the cameras on or anything. I was doing something a little different. Kind of turned out to something crazy. Um, I was reading... Oh, where's my... Here it is. Okay, I was reading on this page here. I've been researching, researching what to do about OBS, you know, crashing when you start the stream, and I got on two side tracks. Uh, one of them is... Uh, oh, I forgot I had all this stuff open. I haven't read yet. Uh, well, one of them is this, uh, is this it? Very interesting. It takes some work, but it's called OBS NDI, and it's three plugins that you, uh, that you can use to, uh, you can send whatever. I don't, never heard of NDI before, but it's a type of stream. I think it's actually for Mac or something, but it, this works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, but it only works in the Bane. As, well, I mean, it might work in... It's the only instructions they give you is for the Bane. Uh, so, uh, and I have, I'm have i running Fedora, so I don't know if I could make it work or not. Sometimes you can install from source and it'll work, but it's things like this. But anyway, with those three plugins, you can, uh, you can send an NDI stream out of the machine you want to stream from to another machine which will just pick up the overall stream and send it on up to YouTube or wherever you're going to go. That is, I'm going to close that now. And I was, was going to research some more, uh, I think I will. I'll look at those in a little bit. I need to not have so much stuff running. Uh, research more whatever other recorders might be out that I hadn't heard of but the, the, but uh, one of the old standby the way I used to do stream and save uh, videos I made a whole bunch of videos this way was with uh, VLC and you used to know how to do it but they changed it up over the years and every time I try it it just doesn't work in the last several years and here's some good real good and this is with the graphic user VLC app you know exact instructions that should work uh, and I didn't try that yet I got on down here reading through these this po these posts and I guess this is a forum or something and I saw this script and this is something I've been wanting to do I know people do it on Raspberry Pi's all the time so to do it with the GUI because that uses up too much overhead they use a script well here's one that can just run in Linux you know uh, and it uh, and it uh, makes an mp4 wave audio and an mp4 stream and then it converts it to uh, and combines it to a webm and uh, when it's done well if i got it started and it's running right now you can see it's work working making a wave and an mp4 and what i had done was well first i tried to run it in the uh, command line and it didn't work run and then i thought well sometimes you can't have a script name i had a capital d capital r and capital vlc Thought maybe that was screwing it up, so I renamed it, and then I thought, well, let's just double click and see what happens. Well, it started running. Uh, it, it gave you a little. Uh, it tells you in the beginning of the script. It says uh, echo. That means uh, that's a readout you're going to see. Uh, well, that's the very beginning. But click the window to capture and get ready. Well, I saw the little uh, turn my mouse cursor into a cross, and so I knew to click. And so as soon as I did, it started. It started going, and I already had my mic turned on and everything. So I should, I should, I see audio, so it should be working. Um, she's an FFmpeg, which I know I already had installed on my system. And only thing is, I didn't do it in the terminal window, and and I didn't. I thought, okay, now once I got it going, how am I going to stop it? And I look back over here, and it was in the comments below, it said, uh, co click Control C to stop it, but. Uh, it said start from the terminal window, <laughs> so I hadn't done that this time. So then I got over here, and I looked, in, uh, and I thought, well, I don't want to kill it. I want to end process, or I don't want to kill it. That, I know that would uh, break the recording, you know. So I, then I thought, oh, okay, let's try uh, stop. Well, I did that, and it said it stopped it, but it, the recording just kept going. Or at least the wave did. Maybe I was just jumping back and forth, trying different things. And uh, maybe the actually I may have stopped the way the uh, MP4, but not the wave. I don't know. But I'm not going to do it again because I want to try 
adding it to VLC. I mean, I tried VLC in the GUI several times and several different ways and just like usual, I couldn't get it to work. I tried the instructions, but I didn't do them exactly, I don't think, because my my input, you know, my files are not the same as my the file, my stream files are not the same as what they're saying up here. I did try, you know, just like that says, try to kind of convert what was going on to what this said. And then I just tried the, the default MP4, neither one of them worked. Just got a, a zero. Oh, the audio played. Well, first time the audio played, <clears throat> but anyway, or the second time. But anyway, I thought, well, why don't I try adding those files as a something to play in uh, VLC? So, um, yeah, there we go. That'll be something. <coughs> <coughs> I'm just going to name it that, and I'm going to add those those two things. Uh, audio capture, what we want. We want a file. I think that's the only choice you got is just media source. Okay. Yeah. Create new. Wave. Okay, now vocal file. I don't know what, if it matters. I already I already did wave, so I'm gonna get that this time. I know that'll play. Okay, now then, what we got going on here. Okay, restart playback when source becomes active. Use hardware decoding. Hide source when playback ends. Close when I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And uh, then we'll add another one. Hey, Don here. Media Doing a screencast <laughs> with VLC. And see if this works. The script right here. Um, I can see it's working. I see a wave and an MP4. And I guess when it's done, uh, it will turn them into a WebM. Let's go look at the script. I guess that'll work. If this works, then I'm not sure if you um, can switch out of that window or not. It's, it it says select. Think about MP4s. So if you don't is, see it, then if uh, they're not that, finished and saved, they don't have an ending to them. They, uh, they may, it may not play but, at all. Uh, I mean, they're streaming files. Advantage. So. Well, if you could figure out how to change I'm this, I'm sure I've to played to MP4s while they were being streamed. Like the whole made. just to screen oh. wherever you go on the system. I'll just leave it like that. that. And I think I'm. Oh, that's on the top. So that'll be good. Anyway, it says down in the script, it's making a, well, it's making a video and right record, uh, audio <coughs> wave, and then, uh, and then at the end, it uh, combines it yeah, to it should uh, be, but it's not. WebM file. And titles works just fine. Hey, Don here. Let's see. Doing a screencast with VLC using this script right here. And I'm still making a video over there, uh, making audio. And see, it's working. Video, I, I saw see a wave and an MP4, and I yeah, that's it when goes. it's done. Um, <coughs> problem is, I'll, I'll never turn catch up. A I web guess I'll just have to Even if it works, script. I'll have to find a stopping point. I guess it'll work. Um, I'm not sure if you can switch out of that window or not. It's, it, it says select. You would window, think you would at least so get the audio. If you don't see it, then uh, that's because I don't know what that is. way. But, uh, which would be oh, a it is disadvantage. Well, oh, if you could pointing. figure out how to change this script okay. to go to X, you know, like the whole but the video just screen not. wherever you go on the system, that'd be a lot better. But, uh, so I guess the video anyway, just won't it says plug. down in the script it's making a. Well, it's making a video MP4. Restart playback. Audio wave becomes then, active. Uh, loop. And then at the end, it uh, end. combines it to uh, a WebM okay. file. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now, yep. how do we Okay, quit? so Probably I'm going to go back to my desktop. Hit escape.
and uh, <clears throat> so I guess you could hear, we'll be able to hear that when I look back on this, but uh, that's not my desktop. So yeah, here's my files. The wave is, I saw the sound jumping. I just can't, well, I don't, I'm not monitoring so the sound, so I can't hear it. And I, it was below my bottom of my window, but the, uh, M, the MP4 is being made still. It may have a long gap, though. It may be way behind the uh, wave audio because I may have stopped and started it. It said it stopped it over here in, uh, in this, in, uh, when I clicked on that and said signal, I said suspend, stop, and I left it that way for a long time. And then I got to thinking, okay, maybe uh, that's why it won't play because it stopped, you know. And uh, didn't I still didn't get it to play in OBS, but hey, yeah, on here it just has no picture. Doing a screencast screen. with VLC using the script the right here. here. Um, so yeah, I guess you can't play that a wave and an MP4, and um, I guess when it's done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stop this video. And I'll, I'll